Today, we will be covering a 2005 drama and thriller film called Survival Island. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. The film begins with Jack and Jennifer, who are a wealthy and happy couple. Jack is a middle-aged millionaire, while Jennifer is a very beautiful young woman. The couple and their friends, Maggie and Richard, plan to sail on a yacht in the Caribbean during the Christmas holiday. Aside from Richard who will be the captain on their trip, there is a young and handsome man named Manuel joining them as part of the yacht's crew. While the yacht prepares to start its journey, Manuel seems to be arguing with a woman named Maria before he hits her, and she curses him in return. During the sailing trip, Jack keeps asking Manuel to fulfill many requests for him. Jack is a wealthy man, so he is accustomed to using his money to get whatever he wants, and treat people however he likes. Manuel feels more and more burdened as the requests keep piling. It gets worse when Jack starts to feel jealous and suspects that Manuel is coming on to his beautiful wife. Jack feels insecure because he is much older than his wife and she looks very attractive. This jealousy eventually turns into a fight between them. Manuel quits the job and accidentally throws a dish rag onto a lit stove. The yacht quickly catches on fire. Despite the captain's efforts to extinguish the fire, it's no use. Everyone on board evacuates using the lifeboat. Unfortunately, the lifeboat gets overturned by a storm later that night. Everyone gets separated, including Jennifer who floats around until she washes up on a deserted island sometime later. Suddenly, she finds Richard's body floating on the water nearby. She drags him to shore and attempts to revive him, but she fails to do so. Manuel shows up and attempts to do the same. It's no use. Richard's life is gone, and they bury his body. Jennifer and Manuel attempt to survive on the island by building a hut for shelter and scavenging for food. However, it proves to be difficult because they cannot make a fire. One night, the two are swimming when Jennifer finds out that the woman Manuel hit before they sailed is his ex-girlfriend who claims to be pregnant with his child. Sometime later, when Manuel is fishing by the reefs, he finds Jack alive nearby. He brings him back to their camp and reunites him with Jennifer. It turns out that Jack has a lighter, so they are finally able to make some fire to cook and warm themselves up. Jack is grateful to be rescued, but slowly, his insecurity and jealousy start to creep up once more. He still thinks that Manuel is attracted to his wife, and so he decides to build another hut for Jennifer and himself, making a clear boundary between them. Manuel realizes Jack's jealousy, so he tries his best to avoid being close to her. However, since they're in a small secluded island, they often run into each other. Their survival situation isn't ideal, mosquitoes are everywhere, they constantly worry about food because the reefs are sharp, sharks are prowling near shallow waters, and they worry that one day Jack's lighter will run out of gas and they won't be able to make a fire anymore. Manuel is their main provider of food, climbing trees for coconuts and diving in the sea to fish. Jack is too old and untrained to be able to do those things, adding to his insecurity. One day, he threatens to ruin Manuel's life once they get off the island. Manuel replies that all his money is useless while he's still on the island. Tensions escalate between the men. Jack wouldn't allow Jennifer to eat Manuel's fish, but he himself fails to catch one every time. Eventually, she pretends to steal one from Manuel because he always gets more fish due to his goggles. One day, Manuel notices that Jack had stolen his goggles to go diving and is about to attack him, but Jennifer tries to stop him. He starts to forcefully have sex with her on the beach, but Jennifer eventually likes it and it becomes consensual. Afterwards, he tells her that he had fallen in love with her since they were on the yacht. Jennifer feels some remorse for having sex with Manuel and accidentally hints at what happened when Jack came back from fishing. He is furious with her and tries to attack Manuel, but loses because Manuel is stronger. Jennifer now stays with Manuel in his hut. Jack finally creates a makeshift pair of goggles using plastic bottles and uses it to dive. He finds a sunken boat and drags it to shore in an attempt to repair it and get off the island. After seeing it, Jennifer and Manuel are going on a midnight swim while having sex. Jennifer comes up with the idea to steal the boat from Jack while he's away. However, Jack overhears their plan and sets up a trap for the new couple. The next morning, Jack announces that he will leave the island on the boat after he goes fishing. The new couple decides to use this opportunity to steal the boat while Jack is away fishing. They sail towards the ocean, but after sailing a few miles away from shore, they realize that the boat is sinking. It was Jack's plan to drown them all along. They manage to swim back to the island, but Jack beats up the weakened Manuel and stabs him with a spear. Manuel manages to fight off Jack, who had tied Jennifer to a pole. The couple escapes to the jungle and stays in a different part of the island. This fight makes their rivalry even worse. 
they steal each other's food and set traps to hurt one another. Jennifer performs a voodoo ritual to curse Manuel, which helps Jack to find a trap that is designed by Manuel to kill him. He comes near the couple's shelter and sees them on top of a tree. Jack throws a spear at Manuel, making him fall off the tree and injuring him. The two men start to fight despite Jennifer trying to stop them, so she joins the fight instead. She pins Jack down while Manuel tries to kill him with a big stone. However, just as Manuel's ex-girlfriend impales Manuel's effigy on a spike, Manuel loses his balance and falls on one of Jack's spears, killing himself. They continue to live on the island until one year later, a family sailing by on a yacht decides to stop at the island to explore it. They find Jennifer asleep in her hut and the children wake her up. Despite still being sad over Manuel's death, she goes with the family on their boat while taking Jack's lighter with her. She doesn't tell the family about Jack's existence, planning to leave him there to die. Jack sees her leave on the boat while he's fishing, and calls out to her. She ignores him, and as the family cannot hear his shouts from inside the boat, Jack is abandoned alone on the island. That is the end of the movie recap, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and tell us what movie to recap next in the comments. See ya!